DNA isolation is an essential procedure carried out in biomedical labs today, and it's had a huge impact in many areas of biology and medicine, including genetics, forensics, and more. In this video, we will explain how you can isolate genomic DNA from mammalian cells by using silica-based chromatography spin columns. Before we begin, we will need to perform a cheek swab to obtain cells we can extract DNA from. This extraction process can be broken down into four steps, cell lysis, binding, washing, and eluding. First, we have to lyse the cells and transfer them into a spin column that will contain silica gel. Then, we add a buffer to our column and centrifuge it. This will cause the DNA to bind to the silica gel. Afterwards, we'll wash away anything that is not DNA, also known as impurities, that are still stuck to the gel. Finally, we'll add an elution buffer to our column to separate the DNA from the silica gel. Okay, so let's take a look at everything in more detail. The first step is cell lysis. Because our DNA is still contained within the nucleus of the cell, we need to lyse the cell in order to access it. To do this, we need two key ingredients, detergents and enzymes. Detergents, such as SDS, are used because they can pull apart the proteins and lipids that make up the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane, therefore lysing the cell, causing the DNA contents to spill out of the cell. Adding enzymes like proteinase K will help purify our DNA by removing contaminant proteins. They also break down nucleases that may degrade the DNA during our DNA extraction process. The second step is binding. The goal of this step is to get the DNA to bind to the silica gel. A buffer in this step requires chaotropic salts and ethanol. DNA and the silica gel are both negatively charged, so they both bind to water via hydrogen bonding, and this prevents the DNA from attaching to the silica gel. The chaotropic salts will weaken their bonds with water, and this will allow the DNA to bind to the silica gel. Ethanol is used for further dehydration of silica and DNA. The next step is the washing step. Our sample may still contain impurities such as proteins or salts. We can get rid of this by washing the buffer twice. The first wash will contain a low concentration of chaotropic salts to remove the proteins. The second wash will be done with ethanol to remove salts. Now we are left with just DNA bound to the silica. From the silica so that we can use it. Elution buffer such as Trist's buffer can be used to do this. This dissolves and rehydrates the DNA which separates it from the silica. At this point, we have isolated our genomic DNA, which can be used for fingerprinting, sequencing, and many other applications. 